Hello friends, this is Low Rate Hitman. How the hell are you doing? I want to make a semi-quick video of my thoughts on the Styx Heroes. And my thoughts is just based on my experience and me not listening to, other, to other people, to other players that's been playing the game on previous Mana Charge Heroes. You know, I had to find out for myself. So this is going to fall on a bunch of ears that's already heard this before. Maybe somebody, you know, is not sure, you know, but all these heroes, they look great. I mean, every once in a while, you might even see one in a defense. But for the most part, I, I don't, I, I, you know, people went crazy to pull for this guy. You know, every once in a while, I'll see, you know, her in a defense, but. Nobody ever gives me any problems. I don't know about you. I don't know how advanced your offense is, but I look at Mana Charge Heroes as just offensive, maybe rush war defensive characters or, you know, uh, events or whatnot because it's just too unpredictable to put on a defense. And that's, I couldn't get that through my head. I had to figure it out on my own. It's only a few heroes out of all of the mana charge, you know, that are good for, like, defenses on wars and stuff like that. I think the number one hero would be, uh, yeah, I guess it might be debatable, but it's, you know, Gornet. You know, she's a great tank. You know, you don't see her much in regular raid tanks anymore. I mean, uh, it's kind of easy to get around her, you know, but she's a good stall unit in wars, you know. The whole goal of war is to have the enemy use their flags, and anytime they have to use two or three flags to take down your defense, you know, that's a great thing, and she is helpful with that. At one point in time, Melina, she was great. She was in all kinds of defenses. It's like, oh my gosh, I got to fight her, you know, and then they fuck around with her, and Oh, we're just going to do a little bit of this and that to her. Next thing you know, you don't even see her on defenses anymore. She's a great hero. Don't, don't get me wrong. On offense, she's awesome. Topaz, you know, I had to just pull and pull for her when she was out. I was like, yeah, this is going to be the end all. You know, it's just, just great. Just looking at, you know, everything she does. You know, especially I was like, well, you know, the meta is fixing to be minions. You know, and so this will be amazing, you know. Uh get mana for destroyed minions but you know it all looks good on paper but until you actually try it you know it takes forever to get a three times mana charge with her i mean in just like regular raids you know i don't i didn't even limit breaker i was like yeah, she's cool she's great i use her on war teams you know uh events stuff like that but you know i think the other great one is uh topaz is it Topaz? no 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 ruby ruby Ruby. Now, I did see her on some defenses, you know, and she, a little bit of a headache, you know. You know, uh, the only thing to compare Ruby to is someone like her, you know, because when Ruby hits you, you know, you, you're going to suffer mana and you're going to suffer. But, you know, I don't see that on defenses too much. So that's one of the things I was always told was, you know, hey, these uh, these charge heroes are not you know, good on defense. And I all I can say is I don't see much of it on defense. So if you're going to do summons trying to get these heroes to put them on defense, you know, who's to say that a whole team of them may be good? I don't know. Are they going to come out with a decent, you know, Garnet-type tank for sticks? I don't know. I would probably hold off. You know, I did like 14 or 15 summons this morning when it first came out, but I am not doing any more. You know, that's the other flip side to the towers is that uh, whoever's running the show, it's not SG. I don't even know who's making the bank anymore with the game, but they hold these characters in high regards. You'll do, shoot, 60, 70 pulls and you'll get a damn season one hero. You know, uh, I'm just giving you some input. I'm not telling you what to do with your money. Pull ahead, pull, video recorded, upload to YouTube. I want to see, you know, but... Uh, don't have high expectations for these characters. Yeah, they're going to be great on offense, you know, but, you know, uh, I don't know. 
I don't I just don't see nothing game breaking with this method they're using. I, I just really don't. The charge is an offensive trick. It's cool, it's great, but defensively I'm just not impressed the way that the meta is. I don't know how it's gonna fit in there. It may possibly do it. I, I understand that they just released the portal, but two of these heroes, you know, has been out for a minute and you know lots of people have them and I don't don't see anything dominant about them, which you know, uh I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just something I'm coming to a realization to, you know, because I love the heroes, leveling them up, you know, regardless of what kind of flack I, I catch over doing it, you know. But uh, maybe I'm just coming to the end of that, you know, to where it's just, you know, it's not it's not worth my money. You know, for a hero like a Topaz, I was so excited to get her, but I don't even use her because just irrelevant. And I know some people, you know, may not have a great roster. I don't have a great roster. <laughs> I have some good. I have a lot of good heroes, and I got some that I need to level up. But my roster currently, you know, a lot of people is way better than me. Look, I'm only level fifty-seven. You know, there's, I'm just small fish, and I really don't spend that much money compared to some of these people. But that's a little off track. This is just my thoughts. You know, if uh, I wouldn't personally break the bank trying to get these new heroes. I don't know of any coming out anytime soon, you know, uh, that's just going to be amazing. Just really don't know. And, you know, I could see some videos today that could prove me wrong and be like, oh man, this, this chick is awesome. You know, she's just blasting everybody's ass, but I don't see it, you know, charge heroes. I mean, yeah, they could be on defense and they can work, especially if, you know, as many bad boards as I get, you know, but. I've learned how to compensate for bad boards, you know, with my team composition on offense. What I need to stay alive until I get a good board, if it's possible. But, you know, that, that's, drift, that's drifting away from the point. I mean, if you, if you want a offensive dynamite, you know, that you're going to sit back and let it build mana until it gets to a third charge and, you know, uh, then unleash the force, you know have at it but it's I, I it just doesn't work with me it may work with you i've tried it i just i i don't like it I, I like a standard hero when the mana bar fills up you know i'm gonna unleash start again you know uh it's like you know uh these mana charge troops is like uh foreplay okay you're sitting there, you know, you're working things, working things, trying to build up the momentum, you know. And then when you get all the way fully charged, you're like, you know, hell, that wasn't nothing. That wasn't great. I'm just telling you my experience. With that said, let me know your thoughts on it. Please share in the comment section and have a wonderful day.